Good morning. I am outside enjoying the little bit of weather before we get some rain here in Ohio. And I just wanted to jump on here and show you guys some of my seed starting stuff that I'm gonna be doing today. I'm planting the last batch of my seeds that I need to start inside. And then everything else is gonna be a direct sow outside, which is super exciting, which that means our warm weather is upon us. So I have a lot of tomatoes that I wanna start, or they're a lot for me. So this is the first year that I am devoting a lot of time to gardening. And my raised beds are done, like I said, so hopefully we're gonna get those installed this week, fill them up with soil and compost so that they can sit for at least three to four weeks before I actually bring anything outside, um, other than like onions and stuff like that. As you can see behind me, tulips are popping up everywhere. I'm excited for this time of year, and especially because I'm gonna have my own garden space, which is super exciting for me. Last year, I kind of just did some experimenting, you would say, with some makeshift um, raised beds that we made out of just scrap wood that we had here. And they're not gonna last for that long because they're not the correct wood to use outside in the weather to last. So I actually planted some flowers in there and I think I'm gonna do a lot of flowers in that area just because it's probably gonna be an area that I'm gonna be taking away after a while. We'll see how long it lasts, but I can make it pretty for now, right? So hoping to use that area for maybe some cut flowers and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna go get all my stuff ready and then we'll jump in and start some seeds and I'll explain what I'm starting and what it's used for. Okay, so I'm gonna write out all of my tags first because last time that I did this, my hands were disgusting and I didn't wanna write everything out. <sighs> okay, so I have one, two, three, eight tomato plants that I want to start this year. First one is Garden Gem. <clears throat> Sun Gold. So these are cherry tomatoes. <clears throat> the Sun Gold is the only one that's indeterminate. So the other ones I'm actually going to just have a smaller area for. The Cherry Falls, which I'm kind of excited. I'm going to put them in hanging baskets. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I might actually put them in some of my containers I do for annuals, too. So we'll see. Roma. I want to do a lot of soups and sauces and stuff, so I have Roma, Ace 55, they're all pretty known for sauces and red pride that I'm going to try. I'm just learning for myself and kind of learning from what I've seen from other people. So, and then garden treasure. These are the garden treasure and then I also have beef steak. They're slicer tomatoes, so they're going to be ones that are used for tomato sandwiches. For anybody out there that says they don't like tomatoes, I highly advise you to try a tomato that is homegrown. They don't taste like the store varieties, like at all. Like you can't even compare them or put them on the same. Yeah, the texture might be the same. Well, I say that and then that's not even completely true either because Homegrown tomatoes that have been ripened in the sun and not picked early and sent, you know, thousands of miles across the country are completely different. And if you've been able to like get some from farmer's markets and stuff like that, high five to you. I never really knew the difference. Well, okay, I knew the difference, but I guess I just didn't take the time to look up farmer's markets close to me. I'm starting a bunch of stuff, but there's also some stuff that I'm not starting. So I'm kind of curious like to go to the farmer's market and see if I can find some of that stuff just to try it and see if I like it. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, spend money on seeds if it's something that I don't really know that I like. 
when there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I can start knowing that I already like it. So um, I'm doing some rhubarb. This is actually gonna be a perennial. Once rhubarb is established, then it just keeps going. I love rhubarb punch and pie and anything else you can possibly make with rhubarb. It's my favorite. Um, this is lavender hyssop. It's actually, I probably said that name wrong, but it's really good in teas. There's a tea mix that I got, which it's not available anymore, because of course anything that you find that's good, then you can't find it anymore. But it had this particular lavender used in it, or hyssop, I guess. So I'm gonna try it in teas and dry my own and see if I can kind of make my own concoction of tea leaves, like different leaves to make that tea as close to that one as possible. I saved the box because I wanted to see what was all in it. So I'm just gonna try it and make my own. And this is also a perennial. Linaria is a really good pollinator attractant, I would say butterflies. I want a lot more butterflies here. And if you have good pollinators and stuff like that, they tend to take care of pests. And we don't want none of that. Okay. Marjoram. I'm only growing one plant of this because I've tried dried marjoram, but I've never tried fresh. So we're going to see. We're going to see if I like that stuff. I'm doing a variety of basil plants because I want to see which or which ones I like the best. And we just ordered a wood fire pizza oven. So I'm going to make my own margarita pizza. Okay, last thing is cauliflower. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up my seed trays with soil and then I'm going to start getting these planted. So here we go. Alrighty, so I got these filled. I'm gonna start with my tomatoes first. And made a number of everything that I need to plant. Okay, those. Okay. So I don't think, yeah, I'm just gonna do one seed per hole. And these are an eighth. So I'm just going to kind of push them into the soil. I might do two in each one just in case one of them doesn't make it. Well, while I'm sitting here, I'll tell you a little story about myself. So I decided to do YouTube because a lot of my friends and family told me that they think that I should video what I'm doing because some people might want to, you know, learn from me, which I don't know, for me, it just seemed kind of far-fetched that 
someone would watch me sit here and talk about seeds when I'm just starting and learning for myself or maybe just they would like to watch the journey is what someone said so I told myself I will dedicate some time make videos and share them so yeah here I am <laughs> I don't know this is honestly gonna be a lot of learning for me too I wouldn't say that my videos are always just going to be about gardening and like just plants and stuff. I would say they're going to be about just my life and what I like to do. We like to travel. The We actually took our first trip outside of the states. We actually went in January of 2019. We went to the Philippines. We did like a um, excursion so you spent uh, we spent five days on the excursion and you traveled around islands the palawan 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 i think islands by boat and then you stayed like on the island sometimes we'd get there in the morning and stay the whole day and then sometimes we would get there in the evenings and then just eat dinner and go from there it was a really really cool trip i really enjoyed it and that trip really honestly made me appreciate food in a new way because they showed us how their food is sourced and how important it is for them like for people to purchase you know fish from them and just different stuff like that because they don't have if you're living on an island and there's not water on the island then you're kind of limited to what you can do and grow and all of this other stuff. They're really limited on some of the stuff that they can do. And it just made me like appreciate where I come from, what we have, the water that we have. We didn't take a warm shower for over a week. We took showers in like an outdoor shower. And it was like rainwater. Which it was really warm, so you didn't really think about it that much, but being able to come home and shower in my hot or cold shower, whatever I would prefer, you know, that it just says a lot. Like it says a lot about what we have and just the blessing of living where we do. I never want to take that for granted because you never know. Like you never know when it can get taken away. And like right now, there's so much hypocrisy in politics and just everything it seems. I just think we need to slow down sometimes and just realize that we're still all human beings and yeah we make mistakes and stuff like that. We live in a pretty amazing country and we're not all gonna agree all the time. That's what makes us human. We don't agree on everything but that doesn't mean you just shut out that person. Okay if you don't agree with someone doing something in your eyes that's harmful then yeah you need to you know get rid of that in your life. I have a very small group of friends that are really close to me and that's the way that I am. I am not like a I want to be friends with everybody woohoo woohoo. I am a person that will tell you how I feel and if you don't like it then that's fine. I'm not going to change myself just because you don't like who I am. It's okay to not agree with everything. But at the end of the day, you should always, always show love to each other. You should, I don't know, For it's hard for me to explain it, but like, I'm always going to respect a person. Because that's the way that I was taught, that's the way that I was raised. We respect each other. You do to others as you would have them do to you, is what I was taught. And I know it seems pretty basic to say that, but... It's so easy. Sometimes it's so easy to do the right thing that people just make it hard. And I don't know if that makes sense or not. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling about things and how I feel. And you attract people based on how you lead your life. That's my belief, that's my philosophy. I feel very strongly if I do the things that I need to do in my life, it will attract people who believe in that, who live for that, 
who try to do those kinds of things in their life. I feel like it's very easy in our society to compare, to judge, to slander, to just do things that you shouldn't do. One thing that has really stuck out to me lately is seeing people go through hard circumstances and then having other people talk about them or talk about the, the circumstance like they know what's going on and they don't like and unless you know that person personally don't talk about them don't add more things to a hard situation and just understand when you walk out your door and you meet people and you talk to people or you pass by people everyone is in a season everyone is going through something in their life and maybe they just need to hear a positive word. Be kind. Don't talk about people. I can't math and talk at the same time if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I know it's so hard because there's so many people, you know, struggling with the pandemic still and living in a fearful life and it's really hard for them to come out of that. But just know, just know that you're loved. It will be better. Just believe in that and don't live your life in fear. There's so much today that drives us into wanting to just live a life in fear. That's not what we're called to do. I am a Christian and I believe in the Bible and it says in there word for word, like, do not fear. Do not fear. So simple. It's so simple. Do not fear for I am with you. Just talk to the Father. He's right there. He is always right there. He wants to hear your voice more than you even know. And how beautiful is that I need to go find my dogs okay I'm back. I have three more kinds of tomatoes left these are all the cherry tomatoes if y'all have never tasted a fresh cherry tomato grown in a garden after a hot summer day you're missing out you are <laughs> I mean even if you don't like tomatoes there are people that have tried homegrown cherry tomatoes and are like man I have been missing out. Like, what have I been doing with my life? <laughs> so, yeah, just saying. Don't nix it until you try it. That's my saying. That's what I believe in. Pixel, you gotta stay here, okay? My dogs are outside with me. And they have a tendency to wander. Okay, these are tiny. <laughs> so I'm planting two in each cell because tomatoes are really easy to separate when they're seedlings. And if you plant them somewhat a little bit further apart from each other, you can just separate them and then plant them in your garden. And you plant them pretty far down, like, you know, like plant a lot of the stem in the dirt, cover it up. Tomatoes actually grow roots from their stem. So if you plant them, plant a seedling deeper, it will survive because it's actually good for it, which is really cool. So. Okay, sun gold and garden gem. I'm doing three. I don't know about y'all, but there's not a whole lot that can bring you as much joy as growing something by yourself. And I know there's some of you out there that are like, <laughs> the last thing that I want to do is take care of a garden. <laughs> and that's totally fine. I'm here to just maybe encourage you to try it. I mean, I've always love the idea of having a garden and having a beautiful space and creating that and making it your own and I don't know I just kind of aspire to encourage other people to do that I love flowers and I inherited this from my mom I can tell you that here I am planting a whole bunch of seeds <laughs> okay last tomato seed so in about five to ten days these little babies will sprout up and then I just have to take care of them and make them happy and healthy for about four weeks yet. They will be ready to go outside in my garden. And that is super exciting to me. I also think this is a really cool thing to teach your children because it teaches patience. And if you don't have space for like a garden, like an actual garden or a fenced in area or something like that, just do containers. like. Just, you can stick them in containers 
they will still grow. <laughs> and that is the beauty of seeds. They will still grow. Need one more of these. This is kind of a whole variety of stuff in this one. So, okay, here we go. We're doing the lavender first because I'm doing seven cells of this stuff. Since it's a cranial. And I think it would be really pretty on the outside of my fenced in area. Isn't that amazing? A plant that, like that, comes out of a seed. God is so cool. He is just so cool. I got vermiculite because I was watching a video where she used vermiculite for anything that is surface sown because it helps keep it moist. I hate that word, but whatever. Oh my gosh. I think they just got smaller and sprouted. And it also helps with moss, which some of my stuff has started to get that. Not a fan. So I'm going to do two of the Pesto Besto Basil, which is from Proven Winners. These other ones that I got are from Botanical Interests. So I'm like just keeping a record of everything that I'm doing this year. And then I'm going to see how everything does, what I like, what I don't like, what I want to do again, what I don't want to do again. And then I will be sharing all of that later. I hope you guys are having a really good day. I really do. You are an amazing person. You're an amazing person. And don't ever let anybody tell you differently. These are the rhubarb seeds and I was actually soaking them all the while that I was um, down here. So, and that's my baby. Someone just woke up from her nap. She had a good long nap. Oh my God, some work done. These are cool looking seeds. They almost look like little tadpoles. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not, but those are what those seeds look like. And then I'm going to go get my baby. Perfect. All right. Well, in about four weeks or so, I will be taking these seeds and putting them into my garden space, which is not there yet, but will be there, which I'm super excited about. I just sit here and like envision being able to look out there and there's a garden there and it's beautiful. And so I will update y'all when I do that. If you want to follow my life, kind of some of my daily stuff that I do, some of the travel that we do, you can subscribe. If not, cool. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, I hope you guys have a very blessed day. Hi! <laughs> she just woke up from her nap. And then the UPS driver actually came and delivered my book order that I ordered for her birthday, which is super exciting. So now she's looking at one of her new books. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! So oh, hi! Yay! Good job! <laughs> She's gonna be one on Friday, which breaks my heart and makes me so excited all at the same time. But yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Hi, baby! Mwah. <laughs>